The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Captain Bob Smith, Director of Testing. Captain Rob Smith with BoatTest.com. Today I'm on Ranger's 2250SS. That stands for Sport Series. This is a multifunction boat with a lot of fishability. So for the real sports fishermen out there that's got a family, I think you're going to find something that you're going to fall in love with. Let's take a look at the 2250 SS from Ranger. Sitting on the standard custom Ranger trailer, the 2250 Sport Series looks more like a premium bass rig with a lot more freeboard, but topside you see the deck boat styling you'd expect from such a multi-purpose vehicle. You also see our center console fishing boat design with freedom of movement all around. This is certainly not the typical waterborne SUV most are designing. The bow section of the 2250 is covered like much of the top side with a spongy sure grip surface that protects the knees when kneeling down and baiting the hook or getting on and off the boat on the bow beach boarding ladder. Over on the port side is a standard Minn Kota 24 volts trolling motor with wired foot control. There's two spots for fishing chairs up front and two storage lockers. This step into the cockpit conceals the bow live well with 1100 gallon per hour circulating aerator pump. To either side of the live well, benches stretch back to the center of the boat. The seat bottoms conceal dry storage lockers and rod ski storage on either side large enough for rods or skis up to 7.5 feet in length. Just ahead of the console is a sole locker that stores the optional porta potty that also has a privacy curtain you can set up. To either side of the console are long narrow storage bins in the 24.5 inch deep cockpit walls. The center console itself is futuristic looking. Shaped more like a fighter jet nose mounted on a console box, it allows more foot room as you pass by. The front is a cooler with dual stainless drink holders. The low profile windshield offers little protection from biting cold, so be prepared. The hydraulic steering is left to center and the gauges and switches are arranged for good view with the exception of the low end of the speed scale which ends up behind the wheel. The helm seat back is unique in that it's a flip back backrest with very sturdy pivot system that wraps around the side for more safety and security. The cushions are seamless which enhance the lifespan of the seat. The sole locker has a tray over the through haul fittings and pumps in the bilge. The bench seats conceal more storage, access to cranking and trolling batteries, oil reservoir and more. The center seat base conceals a live well for people fishing from the back and it's a step up to the aft casting deck. The aft deck has two more post positions for casting chairs or leaning posts, as well as two dry storage lockers for tackle and gear, a port side boarding ladder, and starboard side wet line locker. A cool feature for skiers is the easy to install ski post in the center. This package includes one of the finest trailers available with tandem axles, aluminum wheels, including the spare, Ranger Cool oil bath hubs, and Road Ranger armor protective coating. The jack is a center mounted swing away with custom swing away tongue making this unit fit in the garage better. Lights are long lasting immersion safe LEDs. The overall length of the 2250 Sport Series hull is 22 feet 6 inches. She has a beam width of 101 inches and a transom height of 24 and a half inches. Draft is approximately 15 and a half inches. This model is rated for up to 250 horsepower and I tested it with a Mercury 250 horsepower Pro XS. She weighs about 2750 pounds and has a fuel capacity of 65 gallons. Port and starboard rod lockers can store rods up to 7 feet 6 inches. When I drove this boat I felt like it was on greased rails. Turns were smooth with a little change in deck angle which means the person on the end of the ski rope will have a grand time. While I didn't have heavy chop, I didn't feel or hear any hull slapping noises from the water. She was out of the hole quickly for her size at 3.7 seconds and reached 30 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds with two guys on board and 5 eighths tank of fuel. She reached a maximum of 53.4 miles per hour at 5700 RPM and a best cruise of 29.9 miles per hour at 3500 RPM for a total cruising range of 235 miles. So you can see with the 2250 SS being built on the Bay Ranger hull, you get the performance and the speed that you're looking for, yet you've got the amenities that you need with a family. So take a look at the 2250 SS from Ranger.